I'm Jenny and I have lots of wine to use up. So I'm going to make red wine risotto with carrots and asparagus. Originally, I was going to use mushrooms, but unfortunately they're fuzzy. So, this is what I had in my fridge. A couple pieces of asparagus, which I very nicely peeled, and a carrot, which I also peeled with a knife, which I should have videotaped because it was spiffy. And now I have cut up vegetables. Delicious. The, ca the pot smoking. The kind of wine I'm using is a burgundy, really cheap. It was like $6 a bottle. So, I'm heating up some olive oil in my Dutch oven because it's beautiful. I love my Le Creuset. Okay, no more singing. And I'm gonna throw in about half a shallot. When that starts to soften, add my vegetables. Now again, this is totally improv I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm eyeballing everything. But I like the taste of carrots and asparagus. So hopefully it'll Tastes good. Okay, we're starting to get brownie and soft and delicious. So let's add in the rice. That's about a half a cup. I'm only making it for one person because Steve has an aversion to rice and vegetables. And I can't see the pot very well, so I'm hoping this is all doing okay. <laughs> so it's almost like a mirepoix what I used. Almost, not really. I used asparagus instead of celery, but we can call it the Jenny Paw. When you make this, you can tell your family, you know, we're having risotto with Jenny Paw. That was so corny. So let's put in enough, ah, don't lose the spoon, put in enough to cover. And you know the rest. I'll show you one time, but you pretty much add more liquid when it looks like it needs more liquid. like. Uh, but you can't add too much liquid. I don't know if I told you this last time, but I'll tell you again. You can't add too much liquid because the rice has to be able to bump into each other and like strip itself of its uh, starches. So if you add all your water at once, they're just kind of floating and they won't hit each, smack each other. You don't have to stir it the whole time. I've actually started to read recipes where you really only have to truly stir it for the last like 10 minutes. But whatever, I'm bored, so I will stir. There we go. When that happens, when you can see the bottom of the pot for like a second, like that, you need more water, or liquid. I'm using chicken broth, right? Yes. I'm using whichever pot or box was nearest to me when I opened the fridge. So I will see you in a minute when I've added all my liquid and then we'll add cheese and deliciousness. Okay, so I'm on my last edition of chicken broth. I think it was like four, no, uh, one wine, three chicken broths. Of course, this is for one person, so it might take more. If you're making a whole big pot, um, I like to add my flavorings before it's done, like lemon juice, so that the rice kind of soaks up the lemon juice instead of just kind of the lemon juice being on top of it. And some cheese. And when I say some, I mean a shit ton. This is to taste. Like, I never measure it. I just kind of add some cheese and then stir it and taste it and then add some cheese and then stir it and taste it. So however you would like to eat your risotto is how much cheese you put in. Like, I would like more cheese. And a little more lemon juice. Lemon juice. That may have been way too much, but whatever. We're working on three quarters of a lemon there. The uh, carrot is a little undercooked, but it's kind of cool because it's a texture difference and it's a little sweet compared to the tartness of the way too much lemon I put in. Like while you're eating this kind of tart, cheesy risotto, there's a little explosion of candy. And just for some color, I'm going to add some parsley. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. I just realized I'm wearing a purple shirt that matches my purple risotto or you know red wine risotto with carrots and asparagus it looks very pretty it's actually a very nice color everything I said before the carrot has a very nice sweetness 
it's cheesy and I match it so why not eat it friend me on Facebook that'd be awesome uh, just search Jenny learns to cook I'm a public figure which is kind of awesome so yeah um, see you next time